tools required for the Arctic rig build. Some type of wire cutter, 15 millimeter socket wrench or 15 millimeter box end wrench, a 13 millimeter box end wrench, 10 millimeter socket wrench or a 10 millimeter box wrench, 6 millimeter Allen wrench, and a 10 inch adjustable wrench. Okay, to install the front fork, find yourself a decent place to work. These carpet squares work well for me. You could use a moving blanket or anything like that to protect the paint. When you take the fork out, disassemble the fork, and as the parts come off the fork, line them out. They are already in order. When you get to the first bearing, remove it, leaving the second bearing on the fork. Take the fork assembly with the bearing and slide it into the frame. With your fork assembly in the frame, put your top bearing down in the race, your first nut on. This takes a little time, you got to run it all the way down to the bearing. Just get it down close for now. These lock washers have a tab. You have to put them in the slot and they won't rotate. They're actually like a lock washer, spacer. Your rig may or may not come with a spacer. It may only come with one washer. Put your nut on the top and then back to the bottom nut. Pick up the rig slightly. Turn this bottom nut until you feel tension on the bearings. Stop right there and then snug up your top nut. Not over tight, just snug it up and that sets your bearing tension. Remove your handlebars, take off the, the packing material, loosen up the four bolts. This is where your six millimeter Allen comes into play. You loosen those up evenly and make sure they're good and loose when you swing the stem down level with the handlebars and then tighten these up evenly as you watch your gap in the bracket try to keep it even front to back you tighten those up good and snug then place it into the fork and personal preference down would probably be better and more controllable for racing and up would probably be more comfortable for training or everyday running. Then snug up the bolt with your 13 millimeter wrench good and tight. If your rig comes with a standard stem not the tall stem like I showed in that video this is the stem extender. This one, the stem extender goes down into the fork and then tighten it with a six millimeter allen and then your standard bike stem goes inside it and that gets tightened with the 13 millimeter wrench. This is the stem extender option. Take your wheel mark front Spin the nuts out, paying attention to the washers. Keepers on each side. Make sure they're out next to the nut. Lift up your fork. Knock off the spacer bracket. Slide on the front wheel. With the nuts spun well out, you can put these keepers right in their retainer hole and spin the nut down. Putting the re retainer on the other side, spinning the nut down. Use your 15 millimeter to tighten up one side, then the other. As you snug it up, make sure the wheel lines up with the brake hole. With that side good and tight, return to the first side and tighten that up. As far as front brake cables are concerned, spin out the adjustment nuts until you see the slot. 
spin the lock nut down until the slots line up and take the cable and simply slide the ball down in to the brake lever until it catches and then spin that adjustment all the way closed and that's how you put the cable in slide the housing fully into the adjuster do the same with all three cables I took the handlebars off again to show you this but this is done with the handlebars fully assembled one of the calipers is marked front it does not include one of the spacers the rears include a spacer so the caliper stays off of the frame doesn't knock the paint off these washers are wave washers and one goes on each side of the frame so spin off the nut the washer and the space one spacer and then slide the caliper down into the frame replacing in reverse order the spacer the washer and the lock nut do the same on all three wheels the front one once again does not have the extra spacer needed for the rears. It's marked accordingly. Slide your brake cable down through your adjuster. Loosen up your tensioner. Slide the cable through the tensioner. Sometimes you have to slide that up quite a ways. There's a hole through the back side of this tensioner cable needs to go through it. Loosen up your shoes on each side. Simply by loosening the shoe, you can slide that shoe into play right up where it needs to go on the rim, but not touching the tire. That way you won't heat up the tire, have any issues down the road. Tighten that up right where it needs to go. With this barrel and cable set up similar to the rears, slide your cable through your front caliper. through your locking bolt. Slide that cable all the way through, ensuring the housing drops well inside the adjuster nut. With the caliper loose, adjust your brakes up to where the pad is right on the rim, rim only, not contacting the tire. Slide this one over, hold it while you tighten it up. I generally snug them up and then grab a hold of the shoe and give that a good tug. With the wave washers on either side of the frame, go ahead and snug up your caliper. Not tight yet. And reaching through the fork or reaching over the fork depending on how you do it generally push the far shoe to the rim push this shoe to the rim I reach under with a finger and hold it and then I back it off about the thickness of my 10 millimeter wrench and that's a, the same wrench I'm actually using the socket keep a, a gap on this side of the rim pull the cable down ensuring the housing is in the adjuster, top and bottom, and snug this up good and snug. Then reach up and grab your, your brake lever, and you should have good movement with the brake lever and good contact with the rim on both sides. Ensure that that's 
proper adjustment. If you need, to, if it's too much swing with the lever, simply pull these pads together and adjust this cable up a little bit. You can adjust it here or up on the brake lever itself. It's easiest to pull the pads together and then adjust it while it's loose. Under tension, it's a little tougher. When you have that adjusted properly, spin that nut down. Ensure this is tight. Cut off your cable about two to three inches. And then slide your defraying ferrule on the end of your cable and just crimp it with your wire cutters just enough that it makes contact with the cable and it can't easily be pulled off. That'll keep for a nice clean cable. Then return to the back adjusting even throw one way or the other snug up the back nut and then when you reach up and grab the top cable see this pad is too close to the wheel so simply by backing this nut off and turning the, cap the caliper at the same time I ensure even tension when I pull the brake both pads should move away from the wheel so you're not having rub proper installation of the rig bridle right down through the stem and over the frame. I generally don't use a carabiner in the lines. I put the line through, hook it back through its own line. The dog's being about four feet in front of this connection. And when the rig bridle comes tight, there's good shock absorber and then it contacts the frame so if the dogs back off at all it takes a lot of the shock out and it helps keep your lines out of the front wheel